Ah, today it's chopping day and I just wanted to show you a little bit some ideas because you know, you know I'm into raw food and eating super healthy so maybe those things are going to give you some, uh, some ideas on how to stay super healthy with your diet and how to make the right nutritional choices. So here we go. This is some black rice local here in Bali. I soak that and I make uh, very nice smoothies with it. I soak it without cooking it. Uh, I blend it and uh, this makes this very uh, nice flour that I can use as a, as a starch for you know, for my smoothies and for other dishes. Um, mung beans that I'm going to sprout, other beans for sprouting, uh, sunflower seeds for sprouting as well and uh, soaking to put in, uh, you know, salads and so on. Um, flax seeds also for, um, I'm going to try to sprout those ones. I'm not sure if they sprout. Uh, the almonds, I don't think they sprout, but I will try again. Uh, the chickpeas, yeah, the dishes for sprouting as well. And then I have the raisins and the, uh, over here the dates. Um, these are only the only sources of real sweetener that I use. I always soak all of this. I never eat it like that. It's always soaked or sprouted. And then I have, of course, you know, lots of bananas and fresh fruit here. So this is, you know, when you look at this reserve over here, this is uh, going to last probably like a month or more, you know, for doing lots of nice dishes. So I forgot the cashews and what so, some nice mixes. And then I use that as a seed mix for soaking i put it in in the fridge and then it stays good there for like um, four days to a week here we are preparing some papaya for the week with my beautiful cleaning lady <laughs> jero and here we have the bottles to uh, make the shiva liquids the shivamu or the jamu the local jamu uh, where i'm going to use all these fresh herbs here we have mint and arugula and all that and i just went shopping to get some more uh, beautiful limes that's gonna be easily for like two months just this bag of beans when you sprout them you know most beautiful experiences you see this is a mix of the this brown beans and the mug beans and sometimes I put some lentils there together now they are like uh, you know maybe four or five days already so they are just on the edge of uh, being able to be used are you Jero all good? good. <laughs> Jamu? Jamu, yeah. Shivamu. Good. Shiva, Jamu, good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here is little one resting. Let's see if I can focus. See that in there you have these little animals and they come straight from, from the beans. We're in Bali, right? So, I mean, this is part of nature. Problem? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem, yeah. <laughs> Little insects. Yeah. No problem? No problem. No problem. <laughs> so here we go. Here. Oh my god, the insects! No problem. No problem. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. More sprouting experiments here. See, I've got the green ones are the pumpkin seeds, and then you have flax seeds. So, what I do with this, I simply put some water in them. <clears throat> Let them soak overnight. The uh, chickpeas and also the sunflower seeds. You know, I just soak them, and by tomorrow morning, I will start drying them and, uh, and letting them sprout. And over here, we are making the jamu, shivamu, vital liquids. You take all that. Organic. Organic. Good. Shiva organic. Shiva organic, good, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got all these gorgeous bottles. Look at that. She's making me 12 bottles. So if you guys want any, then uh, just get in touch. And uh, no, it's super good. It, this this is like 100 times better than coffee. It boosts your mind and uh, empowers your immune system massively. Beings, it has been now two days since I recorded the original videos there on sprouting. Here is what happens after a couple of days to the things that I sprouted. So you see these beautiful chickpeas. And then you've got these beautiful sunflower seeds. You see that they get a bit brownish, but that's normal. And this is like, you know, a whole big jar for just, you know, a handful of, of seeds. And then here is the experiment that I had here. And those ones, um, I see some of the flax seeds sprouted a tiny little bit, 
but basically no no in my guess is that for the pumpkin seeds they have been roasted or heated or something like that flax seeds are creating this kind of slimy material around them and uh, my understanding is that these are enzymes being released so there it's a little bit like with the chia seeds right you have this slimy or material that is created around the seeds and then something else that i have here this is not sprouted see that uh, none of these things are are sprouting so it's simply soaking them so that the enzyme inhibitors are being released see these are the beautiful sunflower seeds after two days of sprouting these are the chickpeas after two days of sprouting amazing gorgeous ready to eat this is how it looks like now in my fridge i have a whole bunch of these little jars nutritional value there it's packed with beautiful stuff this is a salad that i prepared yesterday a bit of beetroot and more and i have all the fresh products here to yeah to do the um, the shiva liquids all my shiva liquids yeah <laughs> to see any um processed products in there niente none there is nothing it's just all fresh products um packed with